we have practical exam day and we are starting the practical exam in our driving school number one which is in Bad Soden Neuenhain. We need to get to the left side out of the private property and then we turn right at the traffic lights. Now we're driving down the road to Bad Soden am um, Taunus City. Next traffic light is getting red, so we have to stop here. But because this is the main road, we don't need to wait for a very long time. And green light, we are back on track. Since April 2021, it's possible to take the exam on automatic cars. And um, if you prove 10 lessons of manual shift and do a 15 minutes exam in the driving school and then you can uh, go with the automatic car to the practical exam and later you can drive both systems manual and uh, automatic cars. So the government said you need minimum 10 lessons of manual shift and that's very helpful for many many students because they don't need to go with a manual shift car to the practical exam but later they can start driving uh, manual shifted cars very relaxing system The examiner was asking three questions before we started the exam. First question was, please switch on the hazard lights. Bitte schalten Sie den Warnblinker ein. The second question was, please switch on the um, rear fog lights. Bitte schalten Sie den Nebelschlussleuchter ein. And the third question was, what do you need to take care on uh, the pressure, the tire pressure, where do you get information? And the answer was um, check the car manual or find the sticker which is on the driver's door, inside the driver's door, not visible from outside. And um, there you get the scale. And if you, for example, have a uh, lot of load, five people and a lot of luggage, then you need more pressure for your trip and if you drive mostly alone or with two or three people then you don't need so much pressure on the tires. So we are in the city of Bad Soden, traffic light is green and then the examiner said Bitte rechts abbiegen, please Turn right. Slower speed, check the blind spot and search for pedestrians. They have also green light after our turn and going on into the LA street. 30 was the speed limit, that's why 30 um, should not be overdriven by the students. So this road is all the way 30, it's a 
walking way for many many students there's a primary school we will enter a roundabout the next roundabout we enter there's the drive the driving school not the driving school there's a primary school on the left side of the roundabout easy to do right now single priority science and 30 science as a reminder not very difficult right now traffic light for pedestrians green we can easily cross some pedestrians walking nothing special you see if you go to exam not very difficult um, content. So there you see the next roundabout and on the left side is the primary school. Bitte fahren Sie in den Kreisverkehr ein und verlassen Sie ihn an der ersten Ausfahrt. Please enter the roundabout and take the first exit from the left side. Your car is also approaching, but he was leaving with blinker, so we can go in. And there is the next roundabout, which means, again, we need the speed 15 to 20, and especially checking the left side of the roundabout. Bitte nehmen Sie die zweite Ausfahrt. Please take the second exit of this roundabout. This is number one. Number two is blocked by a car and it's no entry. And here is the exit. So it's a build up area. It's uh, many people and many kids live here so the student decided not to go the full 30 he was driving a little bit slower here now for the left curve he decided to go even more slower pedestrians crossing you see and then he accelerated back to 20 25 that was a good speed for this street am ende bitte links abbiegen Please turn left at the end. So slowing down right before left because of the construction. It's not very well visible. Nobody coming. Blind spot turn. And immediately he saw the no entry sign on the left side of the road. So he asked, what do we do? Do we turn left? And the examiner said, please find a place to turn around. And we have a street on the left side. We have a parking lot on the right side. So he placed his car a little bit diagonal with indicator right and stopped the car. Then he went in reverse to the parking lot of the trailers. The horse trailers, lots of um, space. And then change of the indicator, letting the cars go and then follow to the left side. And turning around means drive back where you came from. And we were clearly coming from the right street. That's why we needed to turn right here. So it's a very narrow street and you don't see if there's a car parked. So he decided to go very slowly with like uh, walking speed. And then he said, oh, let's stop next to the dark car. We want to do the reverse parking here. So he indicated before he slowed down, he
he placed the car close to the dark car and then he started the rear reverse parking front side was free so we can move the steering wheel full to the right side the front will go to the left side that why the left side needs to be free and we need to check that little correction he was a little bit too far away but we have lots of space behind the car a little more a little closer now we are close and parallel and then we just need to go forward straight Then he was done and he told the examiner, Fertig, I'm done with it. And he said, yeah, very well done, but we need to go on. Please go on driving. All right. He went straight back because we are parallel to the curbstone. Any direction left or right with the steering wheel would uh, cause an overdriving of the pavement, but that's not allowed to do. That's why it's important that you remember, just go straight back away from the dark car and then you can move out forward oncoming traffic is coming we needed to go to the right side checking that no one is overtaking and passing the car right side is a street but it's a walking speed area that means we have the priority we can just go on that's why we also do not need to move to the right side we don't need to give space for out driving traffic he has the same narrow place, nobody coming and going on accelerating. Again, there's a big gap between the houses on the right side, but it's a walking speed area sign. No right before left. Im Kreisel die erste Ausfahrt raus. Take the first exit in the roundabout. Und am Ende rechts abbiegen bitte. Please turn right at the end. Give way sign, slowing down, staying on the right side of the curve, checking left side, no one coming and we can move out. Now we enter a motorway which is similar to a highway. No uh, bicycles, uh, no, yeah, no bicycles allowed on that street and we have an acceleration lane. We need to do the same like in highway training. So indicate left now and then check immediately when you're parallel the left mirror and accelerate to the same speed like they are driving which is around 100. Then check and change and then it's done. Then you have integrated into the higher speed uh, street. It's not a highway, it's a motorway. That means generally the speed limit is 100, but here it is built up similar like a highway. You have uh, two lanes on your side, you have a barrier in the center of the road which separates you from the oncoming traffic. And that means you have the recommended speed of 130. So here you can also drive 200, but 120, 130 is enough. So from here he saw the direction board, the left arrow is the straight lane and the right arrow is the right turning uh, lane. 
So from here he needs to find the straight lane with a simple change, checking the left side, indicate blind spot and moving the car slowly into the other lane. Indicate off, then you see the speed limits coming from 130 recommended speed, it's coming to 180 and now finally 60. And if you stay in the right lane, you're away from the straight lane. You go to Königstein. An der Ampel rechts abbiegen. Please turn right at the traffic lights. So we have a green traffic light with an arrow. No one has green light at the same time. It's an easy right turn. Then you see the zebra, the uh, pedestrian crossing and the priority sign we are on a priority road we can just fill up the speed limit of 50 probably you remember this road we have uh, had another exam when the examiner wanted to turn left here and we almost crashed the right cars I sent you a link into the upper corner if you want to see it you can uh, click on that link and then you see the failed driving exam exactly on this situation as a left turner. We went straight down the hill having a green traffic light and driving up a hill. In Taunus area we have many many up and down hills. Driving on a priority street is not so difficult to do. You just have to keep side distance to the parked cars. But the exercises like turnaround and parking is of course easier in a 30 zone because it's not so many traffic there. Now we have a red traffic light just for the pedestrians. On the right side is the train station of Kelkheim Hornau. Back to green light and going on with the speed limit 50 on a priority road. On the right side you can see the DHL transporter and oncoming traffic. We slow down a little bit for passing because we need to wait. And directly behind you see the 30 sign with an additional sign that says Monday till Friday 7 till 17 o'clock. And that's why we needed to keep on driving with a maximum speed of 30 here. On the right side is a school. That's why they reduce the speed here for this area. And behind the school uh, is a kindergarten on the right side. Not here. Here's the kindergarten on the right side. And then Behind the kindergarten is a primary school again. Ah, it's a school tour. Pedestrian way is clearly free. We want to go straight. 
the priority street is showing that it's turning to the right side, which means we have to do a slow mode, checking the right side because that's also the priority road and crossing. We enter a 30 zone, which is right before left rule active and we turn right. Here's a zebra crossing and two people are coming. Do they want to cross? Uh, they are not crossing, but now it starts a fireworks. That was very, very good uh, acting of the driving student. Perfect. Because he gave the chance that they can cross. Another pedestrian crossing, left, right check, everything free. So we make no show. We clearly go on driving. Then we see on the right side is another street, but it is a walking speed area. And if they come out, they have to wait. And our lane is blocked by the Amazon transporter and we have oncoming traffic. We are in front of a 20 zone. You see here the 20 zone sign. And right side is a one way street with bicycles coming from oncoming traffic. So right before left for bicycles and now we are back in the 30 zone. That's Germany. 20 zone for 30 meters, that's it. Now we come to a place where only one car can fit. <clears throat> and you can see we have the blue sign with the two arrows, which means we have the priority and the others have the red circle sign with the two arrows. And that means they have to wait for us. Bitte rechts abbiegen. Please turn right. No traffic sign visible. That's right before left rule. So slow down. Follow the, your right curbstone. If you are not sure if it fits, you also can stop because it's narrow in this street. And now bitte rechts. No, bitte links abbiegen. Please turn left. Red traffic light. Preparation time, that means oncoming traffic gets green light and the pedestrians on the left side, on the right side as well, but they are not, uh, it's not interesting for us. We need to check the left side of pedestrians. Oncoming traffic is free, blind spot, turn. And in the meantime, the pedestrians got red light. New street, new information is needed. We have the yellow sign, priority road, easy to do. Then we see from far away a traffic light and we need the straight lane. And if you look inside the traffic lights, you will see the traffic light has arrows or no arrows. And we see the left arrow traffic light for the left turner. So that means the right lane goes straight. So from here, you just Keep going. On the right side, you can see a 30 sign with additional sign. Whoops, did you see what was written? Yes, 22 o'clock until six in the morning. So they only have the 30 speed limit valid during the night times to protect the um, the res residential people over there. And that's why we can keep going with a speed of nearly 50. So red traffic lights and you know if you have the yellow lines on the ground they are valid and the white lines are invalid. 
That's why we have to stop here because they have a construction and the uh, pedestrian lines are a little bit earlier than usually. You see, um, you see the the other uh, lines and you see the old the old pole of the traffic lights. Back to green light and we are driving. Here you see again the 30 sign for the night times, 22 till 6. Bitte folgen Sie der Vorfahrtsstraße. Please follow the priority road, which is clearly going to the left side. Indicate left, slowing down. 15 to 20 is a good speed for the turn. And we turned. Now we have a 30 sign on the right side without additional sign. So that's valid uh, every day, every time. Because of the pedestrian crossing. Left side is clearly free. Right side also clearly free and crossing but 30 is still valid until we turn left or right or until we get a new speeding limit and there it is a 50 sign on the right side Zack, we go up to 50 and here we are leaving the city of Kelkheim now we just go straight until we have reached the city of Bad Soden. So we probably go to fast forward. It's just going straight. So we will be back soon in Bad Soden. <laughs> Hello, we are back again. Bitte links abbiegen. Please turn left. Checking the blind spot, turning into the lane, breaking down the rest of the speed to zero. We have an arrow inside the traffic lights, which means um, we have no oncoming traffic and no pedestrians uh, which have green light after our left turn. That's our preparation time. So checking left side mirror and blind spot now. Eyes back in front on the traffic light and turn. Sometimes students uh, do the blind spot directly uh, when they are almost under the traffic light or just before they are under the traffic lights and yeah, if the traffic lights jump to yellow or to red light they don't see it and that's a problem that's why we always say check earlier it's not a problem if you do it 20 or 30 meters earlier if you then see there is no one then the next four or five seconds no one will appear from anywhere you just checked that's why it's better to check earlier oh and now we are on the main road to the roundabout Bad Soden you can already judge how well the exam was if there was any trouble, any rude uh, violation of rules, I can't remember. Please turn left to the Esso gas station. That's not the blue one. The blue one is Aral and the red one is Esso station and we have taken the second exit so he was passing the first entrance oncoming traffic check blind spot for the pedestrians and turning in and it's a gas station that means many people walk around from entrance to their cars that's why we 
overdrive slowly the property. Please, please place the car in front of the building, in front of the garage. And this was another test driving exam. Congratulations.